So, Steve, this year's Premier League, do you think it was a great title race or do you think Man City are just making it boring now? To be honest, I really enjoyed it. I did. I think when it comes down to the last game, I think it's interesting. Of course, we all thought that Manchester City would win, which they did. But I like the fact that it, you know, there was a little bit of jeopardy right until the end. Arsenal looked heartbroken. It's come so close for a second season in a row. Next season, how do you think they'll get one up over Man City? I don't think they will. Um, I don't think they will. I think Manchester City will will continue to be ahead of, of Arsenal. I thought I, th I think Arsenal have improved a lot, but there's still there's still a couple of pieces missing, and um, they need to rectify that from now till September when the season starts or when the transfer window closes. That's when we'll realise how you know how how serious Arsenal are going to take it if they're going to spend money, see what signings they're going to bring in. There's talk about them bringing a number nine in, which I think they need. And then we'll, we'll see what calibre they are and if they're good enough to, um, to take on Manchester City. Because, of course, Liverpool, with their new manager, will invest heavily in the summer. And um, it, will, it will get very intriguing again. Throughout the season, it was between Liverpool, Arsenal and Man City. And then Liverpool dropped away towards the end of the season. It was very emotional with the Klopp's last season and him leaving. Did you have an opportunity to meet him and thank him? What's the feeling around the club at the moment? Um, yeah, I've met him lots of times, to be, to be honest. I work at the Liverpool Academy, so I see him on lots of occasions. I go over to the first team and, and, and see them train and speak to him. Um, it was sad. It was very sad. But also, I think when you leave on your own accord and you leave the club in a very healthy position, you know, the new development at the stadium was finished so Liverpool will have more match day revenue they're back in the Champions League more money to spend the club is in a in a very good position Jürgen has left and the sporting directors who used to work at Liverpool have returned Michael Edwards Julian Ward they brought in Richard Hughes so actually there's a nice umbrella of people to support the new manager coming in so Liverpool have got an excellent team so I think that you know that the, there shouldn't be any any form of um, you know, worry for, for the Liverpool supporters. I think, I think they'll be fine. I think the new manager will do great. And then the fourth team qualifying for the Champions League this season was a bit of a shock, really. They've had such a good season. I don't think many would have had Aston Villa down for Champions League qualification at the beginning of the season. Mm. You must be impressed with how they I was done. very impressed. To be honest, I thought they would do well. Uh, you know, in, in my, a lot of my pre-season predictions I picked that they would do well I didn't I don't think I expected them to jump into the Champions League spot when you've got Chelsea spending money Manchester United spending money of course Tottenham the, the, the club that they are but I, I, I think Unai Emery is a, is a fantastic manager I really like him um, I thought he was treated terribly in the past when he was manager of Arsenal and the fact that he came back and you know w won a trophy again with Sevilla did so well at Villarreal and now he's doing really, really well at Aston Villa. Um, it's a credit to him, really, and his, and his uh, experience and his work ethic. And I was, I was really, really happy that Aston Villa did get into the Champions League spot. You talked about the top, and now we'll go to the bottom. The three teams promoted this season have been relegated. Is there concern about the gap between the two leagues? Is it widening? Yes, I think so. I think so. I think it is a concern. I think it is a concern. It certainly is for me. I don't know how, how you feel about it, but I think, I think it's a problem. Um, yeah, there's agree. so much money in the Premier League and there, there are parachute payments, as we know, for the, for the teams that go down. But then you also have different rules as soon as you go down. You have different FFP rules now, which, of course, people are talking about for the first time in a long time because you can't, you can't outspend what you, what you earn, and that's a problem. Because the, you know the teams in the Championship, of course, earn less money than they do in the in the in the Premier League. So I think it is a real concern, to be honest. Because when you look at the teams coming up, you almost think they're favourites to get relegated straight away, and that's 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 a terrible thing to think about when um, when they we haven't even kicked a ball.